Smart devices are everywhere, in your hand, on your walls, on your desktop, in our cars. But what about inside our bodies? IBM planted a seed years ago with this commercial. A shady young man perusing a grocery store has cameras and a beefy security guard looked on. Rather than arrest the young man for shoplifting, the officer says... Excuse me, sir. Forgot your receipt. Check outlines. Who needs them? Have a nice day. This is the future of e-business. Just a few years later, Scott Silverman, the CEO of Applied Digital Solutions, appeared on NBC News to present his company's new technology to the world. You have one in your arm right now. That's correct. Where, where is it? It's in the upper right arm. It's a simple injection process, just like getting a shot of penicillin. Is it painful? Not at all. They numb the area slightly. You don't feel it. They put a Band-Aid on it. Within two days, you don't even know it's there. And can we, I don't know. I... A tiny RFID microchip about the size of a grain of rice. However, at the time, the public wasn't ready to accept the device, and Verichip was bought out, and the technology became the interest of hobbyists and technophiles. Today, there are countless accounts of young people voluntarily receiving the chip as an injection. One such man partnered the device with Bitcoin and became a walking, talking e-wallet. Now, Visa is dipping its toes in the water by partnering with the University of Technology, Sydney. Why Australia? Well, according to George Lawson of Visa Australia, he claims... They're among the world's earliest adopters of new technology. Today's workshop is about coming up with new and exciting concepts to help Visa and our clients elevate and project into the future of digital payment. Forty students from the UTS Bachelor of Creative Intelligence and Innovation accepted the challenge from Visa to seek out new payment systems. One student is excited at the prospect of moving away from cash-based transactions. The future of payment, it's very important that we move away from solid cash and we move more towards different ways of paying. Everyone wants an easier lifestyle when it comes to payment. I think Visa are just trying to make the world more fluid in their transactions, trying to connect a lot of people around the world and can be done instantaneously. And he's not alone. In Microsoft founder Bill Gates' annual letter, he mused, quote, the key to this will be mobile phones. Already in the developing countries with the right regulatory framework, people are storing money digitally on their phones and using their phones to make purchases as if they were debit cards. Denmark has already taken the leap to a cashless society with a proposal to permit stores from rejecting cash for transactions as early as January of 2016. Michael Busk Jepsen, the executive director of the Danish Bankers Association, feels that a cashless society is, quote, no longer an illusion, but a vision that can be fulfilled within a reasonable time frame. Back in Australia, Visa released a poll of the population and discovered that 32% would be interested in paying with a smartwatch, 29% with a smart ring, 26% with smart glasses, 26 would be interested in paying with a connected car, and a bold 25% of Australians say they are at least slightly interested at the prospect of having a chip implanted in their skin that could be used for payments. That bold 25% has some privacy advocates and conservative Christians concerned. According to the book of Revelation, in the end times, all mankind will be forced to accept a mark in their right hand or forehead that permits them to buy and sell. Some Christians believe that growing acceptance to a cashless society and subdermal implants to purchase goods and services will usher in the fulfillment of that scripture. Dr. Bem Lee Hunt, a course director for University of Technology Sydney, welcomes Visa collaborations with his students and feels that they can deliver, quote, new kinds of creative and adaptable thinking. While according to Visa, a quarter of Australians would be open to implantables to make purchases, 75% of the population still would need to accept it, unless government forced a cashless system like we're seeing in Denmark. Will you and I see a cashless society in our lifetimes? Well, if Bill Gates and Visa have their way, the next time you leave a grocery store, they may just hand you a receipt. Unless, of course, you don't receive the mark.
What do you think about these developments? Comment below with your thoughts and hit that share button. Every share is one more nail in the coffin of the corporate media. Keeping an eye on your privacy for the next news network. I'm Gary Franchi.